Hi guys, I'm back again. Now, this is almost finished. I'm going to pull out these tomatoes in here. They're not going to go anywhere. I've got a problem. As you can see, these hydroponics here uh, that run through these pipes and wick up. I don't know if you can see uh, there, but these timbers over the last couple of years have warped, which has caused um, the guttering here to not be level anymore, and they're actually leaking. So I'm going to have to pull all this apart and decide whether I'm going to repair it, or I might change it to NFT, um, where it can't, where well, it doesn't matter if it warps actually, um, because I can see these timbers, I realise these timbers, and I can recycle them at, uh, to the NFT as well, um, I can see that they're, they're never going to stay straight, and they're always going to keep warping. So they're old, just old sleepers, not old sleepers, but I've got them new, but I can repurpose them for the NFT anyway. So I'll assess the damage, uh, get rid of all this off the top, pull it apart, assess what's going on, and uh, although this has really worked well for quite some time, uh, I'll have to make a decision. And the same thing's happening with all three of them. Because I've actually, my ground is not level, um, and I've got them um, suspended really on pegs and uh, and struts, I suppose you call them. Or if, uh, anyway, um, I'll come back. It's raining today. I don't really want to bring the tripod out, so we'll see how we go. I'll pull this apart now get all these out and um, see how we go. I will put, bring the tripod out, but if it starts to rain properly, um, I'll probably just have, well, I might just cover it. Why not? We've got a bag there somewhere. Anyway, uh, enough talk. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. It might be a bit hard to see on the camera, but um, I think I'll just bite the bullet and change it to uh, NFT. Anyway, I'll pull all this down and then uh, I can do a video about um, building an NFT system. Okay, um, it's been raining so I didn't want to get the tripod out here. So what I've done is uh, put in six posts. They're fairly level, fairly straight. It's not uh, a major, you know, requirement. You can see they're parallel. Um, and they're old posts. <laughs> old steel ones this time. The other ones are supposed to be hardwood. They're bloody rotted. Bunnings, eh? Bunnings. 
anyway that's the gist of it and I'll show you what goes on next so that's the the base these are going to be cut off to the right level and it will fall downhill down the way that you're facing now um, yeah um, and that's how the nutrient will uh, will uh, will be gravity fed downhill through the roots of the plants uh, so let's go to the next step so I'm using the old timber that I pulled out told you I was going to uh, recycle it into this and we can see here I've just got it uh, in a convenient place it was easier here I've just screwed them got them level and screwed them together you can see there's a screw there and a screw there and I've made a mark on each end uh, and in the middle of course and that's where the pipes are going to sit you can see that mark there that pencil mark so it'll be a pipe on the end a pipe in the middle and a pipe at uh, where are we that end so let's get the holes drilled and you'll understand a lot better well one hole anyway and you'll understand what I mean I'm going to have to get the electric drill out. All right, be back soon. Hit it, baby. And of course the hole saw is not deep enough, so now I'll have to get a drill, drill all the way through, so I can find centre, turn it over and drill from the other side. <laughs> not funny. Alright, a little bit of a change of plan. Oop. So I've got two done, and because I have to turn it over, I've just um, screwed it together so it's not going to move. Anyway, pretty simple stuff. pieces out and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, we finally have that bit done. Now let's see how they fit. I should... Oh, a little bit hot. A little bit hot. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Alright, so the idea is, let's see how it fits. It was the closest hole saw I had. Ah, oh, come in. Yes. So, the pipes, obviously, all fit in there like that. Yeah, snug, yeah. isn't it? Snug as a bug in a rug. Hmm. You can see how snug that is? Snug as a bug in a rug. All right, so they get um, fastened up onto the poles at the right levels, run the pipes through, and uh, once I get that bit done, I've got to, got to do one more of these yet, so I've got to put two together to get them 
can't uh, sort of drill half a hole. Anyway, I'll be back um, after I drill the other two. Okay guys, that's uh, this part of the build done. Um, just something funny before I go. Let's see if it'll turn around for me. I was just thinking I um, could modify that. Put it in the town square. I know uh, a few necks that might fit in the middle one. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back with the rest of the build. I'm just going to clean up all this mess here and uh, have a nice hot shower and then time for a couple of beers okay bye for now okay guys so I've got this far now I've decided to put some um, some weed mat down to uh, yeah, keep the weeds away and um, now I can get on with putting the, uh, the posts up or the, the timber up I should say um, yeah, so we'll continue on to do that. Okay, I've got this far. Now, it's pretty simple to understand. I've just got it tech screwed on, level across this way, and with a good amount of fall downhill for the nutrient to drain. So that's how it's going to look. It's going to drain into one of the into um, a, uh, a reservoir like this, and that's basically it. I can come back later with. Um, um, I've got to take these pipes up and drill holes in them, of course, for the plants to go in, and we'll go on from there. Okay, so now I'm going to um, mark out these holes for this. I'm going to put on that side. Um, so I'm just going to use a, a chalk line here. Sorry about the flickering, but um, that light seems to cause a lot of flickering. So I'll just run this chalk line down. I get all my holes centered. Right. Now I'm going to make the holes. Uh, 250 millimeters apart, uh, and the first one's going to be 150 million. So let's mark that first. So 150. And every 250. So it's, I think I find it easier if I just put my thumb there. Close enough. So I should get 11 holes on each. Oh, I forgot to get my um, hole saw, didn't I? Right, eh? So, I'll get my hole saw and drill the holes. Okay, so these holes are going to be uh, 64 millimetres. Let's get them drilled. There we go. 
All right, so I'll just get them all drilled, the whole lot, and I'll come back. Pretty simple. Okay, so the last two holes, just cleaning the edges. It's been painful. <laughs> Lucky I'm patient and tenacious. <laughs> I know it's about seven after seven o'clock in the evening here. I've got to get all these burrs off. Last one. Thirty-six holes done. Now, tomorrow we just have to build it, I suppose, if we've got time. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so I've just made myself up some end caps here. And I've got them on an angle for a couple, and you'll see why when we get down there and put this all together. So they're the end caps for the three rails. Um, right, so therefore now I'm going to put a float valve in this reservoir. It's going to sit somewhere up here, and it'll fill with water uh, gradually as the the level drops. So. I reckon about here. cream cut. So let's put the float valve in, make sure it's the right way up. Obviously you've got to choose the right size hole for your float valve. Uh, the rubber ring here on the inside. Yeah. And then Just nip that up with a pair of, pair of pliers, although you shouldn't have to. And there it is done. Okay. So now let, let me get a hose on here. I just need something short with a connector um, and probably a tap. First, I'll put some tape on it. easier to put it on beforehand, wouldn't it? Yep. Doesn't need much. There's no real pressure on this, so... That'll do it. Okay. Got a fitting here.
and about there is where I want it. Okay. So I'm just recycling some of this pipe and fittings that came off the old system. And just want to get this on here. get my, um, my little socket for that and you'll see where the hoses fit on here and I want one for the other end and let's have a look at that anyway they're, they're simple enough I'm, I'm sure that people can work that out right Right, and so I can disconnect it easily. That's it, I might as well put one on the end there for when I hook up the other hose. <coughs> right, so that's that part of that connection done. Uh, Alright, it's time to go down the bottom I think. Let me get organised. Okay, so I have the reservoir set up. As you can see, this is the water reservoir. And it runs down under here. Into the nutrient reservoir. Which I have... Now you see what the end caps are for. Anyway, I'll just take these end caps off and show you inside here. Okay, so it runs down to the float valve and will fill the nutrient reservoir with clean water because plants normally, they like a bit more water than nutrient and they just take what they need. So we've got a little pump there and it pumps it up along this hose. into the top of the pipes here, if you can see that, and if you can see the end of the pipes on a chamfer, so it doesn't, I wonder if I can get inside there, you can see, it's, I hope you can see in there, there we go. It's on a chamfer so it doesn't get 
you know, hit the bottom of the pipe and block. And there's two there just in case one of them does block. And each pipe, little stop field there, and just in case I need to bleed the line. And that's basically it. So now all I have to do really is cut a hole out the lid for these. Where are we? Yeah. Cut a hole out in the lid for these to get through and an air line. Put an air stain in here. And I'll show you what the setup uh, for the, the waterproof case that I've got is once I've got that done. Yeah, it's just uh, very difficult to do all this stuff without, um, you know, with one hand and tripods and whatnot. So, um, yeah. We'll see it uh, in the last stage and then we can go to testing. Hopefully there's no leaks. Maybe these end caps will leak if they do. Um, I'll just do give them a bit of a silicon and, you know, sort that out like that. All right, so this is the... Um, geez, it's a bit hard to see there. There we go. This is an old um, waterproof... Um, case and you can see it's got the waterproof lips on it I've just cut a little bit out here to put the uh, leads through uh, air pump there um, this is where the power comes from everything's protected inside um, so let's get this filled up and we'll give it the test run I'll fill it up about halfway and just, oh, actually, might fill it right up. And we'll have a look at it. Okay, I'll come back then. Okay, so it's raining again. So I'll just get through this very quickly. You can see them down in there. There's no leaks so far. All running very nicely. Here's the pump. Whoop. Ah, okay. So see here, this end is all blocking up. Not good. It's not running out of here fast enough. So I'm going to have to go and get uh, proper end caps for these and amend these ends. I thought it would uh, run through quick enough, but it's not banking up. That's not good. All right, I'll turn this off. Looks like another trip to Bunnings. Hopefully, uh, uh, get all this finished tomorrow. Not raining. Okay, see you for now. Okay, so I've got this uh, finished now. I've explained a lot of things here. I've fixed up the ends. As you can see, I've got some plants in there already, just to occupy them. And you can see what I've done here with the with the pipes at the end, so they don't pull. We don't want them sitting in stagnant water. But after all, it's called nutrient film technique. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's just a film running along the bottom. Okay, let's have a look inside the tank. Uh, I'll just get my happy helper here. Uh. So, I've got nutrients in there now. Float valve, a pump which I've got protected by netting there so nothing big goes through it just in case. And an air stone. It's pretty simple. So, I'll just put this back on. And I've got uh, some polystyrene here to protect the lid 
so far I might have to wrap it. There you go. I might have to wrap it with um, this polystyrene just because of when, when it gets really hot. Um, but trying to keep the nutrient as cold as possible. There we go. All done. So it'd be nice to see it full of plants shortly. And um, yeah. So what do I get? I'll get 36 plants in here, which is enough. And we'll see what happens over here later on. I might fix it, I might just replace it with these. I mean, they're big enough um, to grow, you know large cabbages and broccoli, those sorts of things in every second hole. So not a problem. Oh, I've just got to make up these these pucks here. If you can, where am I? Let's see these. That's just holding a plant there. Uh, put those over every unoccupied hole so that the um, the sun doesn't get in there and create algae. Alright, that's it for now folks, see you later.